If you like Benedict Cumberbatch, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. Number 10. You got a sore gut? No. You act like it pains you to hit two words together. The Power of the Dog is a Western drama film written and directed by James Campion. Elevating ambitious director Jane Campion back to Hollywood's top names, The Power of the Dog is the tale of thick-headed but charismatic Phil Burbank. He is a rancher and cowboy who inspires fear and awe in those around him. When his brother brings home a new wife and her son, he torments them until an unexpected possibility emerges. It's really just for wine drips. Oh, you got that, boys? Only for the drip. <laughs> <laughs> Get us some food. <laughs> Number nine. You said the problem was there's no way to coordinate to let Pankowski know about the escape plan, but there is a way. Me. The Courier is a historical spy film directed by Dominic Cook. This thrilling fact-based story, elevated by an unforgettable powerhouse performance, explores a conflict that could have wiped out humanity for good. As the world's most powerful forces stand in deadly conflict, a wealthy businessman gets tangled up between the fronts as a spy for a society he can't relate to anymore, being responsible for the rest of the world. James, be a bloody professional. I'm volunteering to bring back the best source of Soviet intelligence you've got at a time where Russia and America are on the brink of nuclear war. You talk about using people. For God's sake, use me. Number eight. I pushed your astral form out of your physical form. What's in that tea? Psilocybin? LSD? It's just tea. Doctor Strange is a 2016 superhero film directed by Scott Derrickson. One of the most extravagant entries in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the story follows the brilliant Doctor Stephen Strange, an arrogant and self-centered surgeon. But after losing his craft through an accident, a journey of self-discovery leads him to the truly strange world of magic and myth. And with a new craft, he will return as the master of magic, Doctor Strange. Number 7 Star Trek Into Darkness, directed and produced by J.J. Abrams. Star Trek Into Darkness is the 12th installment in the Star Trek franchise. The story follows Captain Kirk as he leads his crew to capture a man who could bring destruction to the whole universe. The 2013 science fiction film received mixed reviews from critics, but makes a great addition to the Star Trek franchise. Why did you allow me to live? We all make mistakes. No. I surrender to you because, despite your attempt to convince me otherwise, you seem to have a conscience, Mr. Kirk. Number 6 Bite it. You have to bite it. Atonement is a 2007 romantic war drama film directed by Joe Wright. The 2007 film is based on Ian McEwan's 2001 novel of the same name. The film tells the story of Brienne Tallis, a 13-year-old girl and future writer, and the consequences of her actions after she misinterprets several events and changes the lives of two lovers, her older sister Cecilia and Robbie Turner, the son of a family servant. The movie has a wonderful score and won an Oscar for Best Achievement in Music. Sugar casing so it won't melt. Why should they get free sweets? Because they'll be fighting for their country. Oh, Daddy says there's going to be a war. Your daddy is wrong. Number five. Our job was to crack Enigma. Well, we've done that. Now for the hard part. Based on a true war story, The Imitation Game is a thriller drama that binds the audience in the suspense of its twists and turns. Directed by Morton Tildum, the movie follows the journey of the great British mathematician Alec Turing as he tries to break the unbreakable German Enigma code with the help of a team of dedicated mathematicians. Thick with the war tension in the air, the movie has us holding our breath, anticipating the moment, with stellar performances from Benedict Cumberbatch, Kira Knightley, and Matthew Good. The Germans will know that we have broken Enigma. They'll stop all radio communications by midday, and they'll have changed the design of Enigma by the weekend. Yes. Two years' work. Everything that we've done here, it'll all be for nothing. Number four. 12 Years a Slave, directed by Steve McQueen. 
In pre-Civil War United States, a free black man from northern New York finds himself sold as a slave. Based on an incredible true story of one man's fight for survival and freedom, it is far from comfortable to watch. The film won three Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Supporting Actress for Lupita Nyong'o. She's a beauty, one of the regular bloods. None of your thick-lipped, bullet-headed, cotton-picking niggers here. A child, man. For God's sake, you're not sentimental in your oh, My sentimentality extends the length of a coin. Number three. There is only one way this war ends. Last man standing. 1917 is a war film directed by Sam Mendes, reimagining the impact of anti-war movies with technical achievements to drop your jaw. 1917 is a war movie shot like there's not a single cut, following two brave soldiers on a one-way mission to save hundreds of soldiers from running into a trap. We are always right beside them, closer than ever to the gripping destruction of World War I. Major? Yes, sir. Stand them down. Yes, sir. Call up the orderlies. Turn the wounded. Hold the line in case they counter. Yes, yes sir. Number two. <laughs> what is this place? The mirror dimension, where I'm in control. Strange, stop! Can we please just talk about this? Spider-Man No Way Home is a superhero film directed by John Watts. This long-awaited conclusion to the MCU Spider-Man trilogy strikes hard with ultimate fan service and a Spidey story that exceeds every scale that was established before. Upon messing with the timeline, elements from other parallel universes suddenly pop up in Peter Parker's reality, making him face the literal past of Spider-Man in a nostalgic and very dangerous way. Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So my girlfriend's just gonna forget about everything we've been through? I mean, is she even gonna be my girlfriend? All right, fine. <laughs> Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You can't mention me. I'm sorry. You're alone. Last November. Hmm. Fox has already secured a guarantee from the palace. They will remain neutral on the issue of the slave trade. Next time, you will be pushing at an open door. Number one. Does this chattering animal speak for you? Certainly not, I speak for myself. I've been trespassing in this city and on this planet. Avengers Infinity War is a 2018 superhero film directed by Anthony and Joe Russo. In his quest to save the galaxy from starvation and eventual extinction, mad Titan Thanos plans to gather Infinity Stones that possess the power to wipe half the population of the universe. The Avengers must assemble once again and defeat Thanos before he acquires the Six Stones and curses humanity forever. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments! If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more Top 10 Movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.